Hello, everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from round four of the Galactic Championship Mon Cala Qualifier. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's have a good time. Today, we got Benoit versus Daniel. Rumpre versus Leon. Rebels versus Separatists. Now, we are going to go ahead and take a look at those lists. Today, I'm joined by William Hagwood, one of my favorite bearded fellas on this earth. Oh, no, the pressure's on to keep the beard down. <laughs> oh, he's like, no, no. <laughs> I'm you like, would... my least favorite bearded person, <laughs> William Hagwood. <laughs> Or at least bearded person. <laughs> anyway. All right. Uh, well, well, with that, let's go ahead and have, uh, have regardless of your beard status, let's have you uh, break down these lists. And I'm going to open up the Choose Your Champion poll. If you're watching later on on YouTube, put your opinion in the comment section down below. Who do you think is going to win this game? Let's go. It's time to choose your champion. Uh, as a note, I still have a glorious beard. Uh, <laughs> let's start with. Uh, how, wait, how did. Benoit? Benoit? Be Benoit? Uh, Benoit. Yeah. All right, got me again. Those uh, French uh, sounds like. Anyways, uh, they are flying, as you said, the Rebel Alliance. We have Triple Six. Uh, all the, uh, well, I guess there's been a lot of the in Initiative 6 pilots here. We have Han Solo in the Millennium Falcon uh, with Suppressive Gunner, which is interesting. I uh, can spend an eyeball result to give the opponent a deplete or damage, their choice, uh, engine upgrade. Uh, we also have Wedge Antilles with Proton torpedoes and Hera Sundula in here trying to help out some modification filling in count for kind of the force point that we normally see on Han Solo but also a coordinator mm -hmm. uh, for a double modified proton torpedo uh, so semi-alpha strike but uh, all very uh, fast and uh, late moving ships uh, the Initiative 6 is going to work really good because Daniel Leon on the other side is flying uh, Separatists with an I-5 fire spray called Zam Wessel. I heard that was good. Turns turns out very good. Uh, it has unique condition cards. We'll be talking about pretty much all game. Uh, you better mean business and you should thank me. Uh, one provides free locks, the other bonus attacks. Um, and a bunch of other things. Uh, Sam's got Treacherous, uh, Hull Upgrade, Thermal Detonators, False Transponder Codes, and Count Dooku. Um, a standard build uh, it's become. Uh, people found out that Treacherous is very good. I better hurry up with these lists because Han Solo is coming in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Oh, okay. Not in range of shooting, though. They're cleaning up tokens. All right. So we also have DBS 404. Uh, this is the I-4 Hyena, who gets an extra dice when shooting at range 1 and 0, uh, which it can perform range 0 attacks with its primary weapon. If it does hit with those attacks, it will suffer uh, critical damage, of course, bringing the landing struts and this one equipped with a long-range weapon, the energy shell charges. Three dice attack that requires a calculate uh, the Separatist Bomber, the I-3 Generic Hyena, uh, bringing the exact loadout uh, as well. Energy Shell Charges and Landing Struts. And then uh, an interesting piece here. Uh, a One of the double unique uh, head char <laughs> prototype. Uh, this is a Vulture who... Um, it also has the same kind of uh, upgrades, the energy shell charges and landing struts, but uh, after a ship in its bullseye at range 0-2 to two, declares another friendly ship, the Defender, uh, you can perform a calculate or target lock action. So some 
potential synergy there to double modify those energy shell charges also get calculates when uh, you have blocked somebody in my opinion that's the easiest way to get that ability to trigger is you block the ship and then you can actually then uh, keep it in your bullseye to perform those actions Fan. so some really good synergy there between the droids uh, and of course obviously led by Zaman uh, Jim, we're, we're heading for uh, what appears to be the classic dishonorable joust here. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're going to fly around. No, nah, actually, no. <laughs> let's, start in op- let's start in opposite corners and fly right towards each other. Yep. Uh, real quick here, James, we got to get some of those colors switched around on the bombers. Uh, DBS 404 is, is dressed in white with uh, mm-hmm. Separatist bomber in red and the... Uh, the the uh, the Chow prototype in blue. We'll get those. We'll get those moved around here in a second, fam. We got you. I think. Uh, I think James may have stepped away for a quick second. So here we go. The uh, Heor Chow prototype coming up. Mm-hmm. Separatist like bomber. I like I like the ener- energy shell shots going to be coming in here. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're uh, underutilized these days because you have so many other options for missiles mm-hmm. um, that have more than one charge. But they're easy to shoot. Uh, they work great in um, packs because uh, everybody wants to share with that network calculations ability to share calculate tokens. Now, you can't share the one that you need to... S- uh, activate the attack mm-hmm. um, but it allows you to uh, spend two calculates to modify a single one uh, unfortunately though the the prototype had to bear roll so most likely won't be getting uh, that free lock action oh. as Han Solo just moved right into his bullseye well you know the Falcon does have a boost action available and would end up getting it out of at least two of those arcs but opting for a target lock. He's going to lock Zam and trigger the false transponder codes. Uh, what this do- is doing is it's opening up for that proton torpedo from Wedge. Target lock has his action. Hera comes in um, and gives him a focus if he needs it to modify mm-hmm. that shot. Um, that's going to put some real hurt on Zam early. We'll see what the trades in these. Uh, it seems that everyone's going for the the big base here mm-hmm. um, on each side. That's right. And you can see that Hera does have a shot from long range. It looks like Hera's going first. One hit. And going to have to make some choices here right away gonna take a shield on zam yeah yeah we got a a condition here it was yeah but i mean business uh so we'll see if he's gonna like the double tap probably not gonna double tap Hera at range three probably gonna wait till wedge or Han. Mm -hmm, i would i would as well yep so that's what he's doing here's han solo now one interesting thing about waiting on the double tap you got suppressive fire Right there, oh, which is, is gonna suppressive gunner. Rather. Suppressive, sorry, yeah, suppressive gunner, which is gonna deal out the uh, the 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 deplete token. Mm-hmm. It's gonna make that. Uh, I'll show. I haven't said. I'll show you the dark side. Uh, it's gonna make that. You better mean business. Bonus attack. Uh, weekend there. Mm-hmm. Is he not gonna use it on Han? Uh, you're gonna, He's gonna save it for wedge apparently. Now remember, Hera has that focus ready to go. If wedge needs it, he'll get it. And looks like it will be a yes. Spends the lock on the blank, takes the Hera focus, and that'll be four two hits, two crits. And Zam is yeah, is, she, is she gonna spend the focus. No, spend your Juku. She spent the force oh, already. Have... Don't like being critted. 
Uh, yeah. yeah. Don't be don't be critted. So rest of the shields down. I'm very interested in the so there we go. Now yeah, but I mean business. Surprised didn't take it at home. Very, very surprised. Just going at Wedge. Wedge is a pretty big threat against the uh the droids. You know, he can he can clear them out pretty quickly mm -hmm. without that defensive dice. So that might be the thought there. That's true. Uh was depleted because of that suppressive gunner, so uh, did not result in much here, and it continues to not result in much. Going to go for Wedge again, but only one hit. Wedge is going to be able to shake that one off. I mean, without any modifiers there, I know it looks bad because it was a blank and you know two blanks and, and one hit, but one hit was the expected result without having any type of modifiers there. So, so we're going energy show obstructed. From four or four, gets three hits. Whew, two evades. Rough. S squiggles, baby. And we'll see where this Separatist Bomber wants to go. I assume just trying to take out Wedge. Oh, no. Another one hit attack. Yeah, those energy shells core. just not uh, not doing it right now. Now need paint uh, has uh, two calculates from this droid for for it, and just keeps rolling blanks, not eyeballs. Oh man, want to buy a focus? Well, it does does end up doing one damage. So shields are now down on wedge. Yeah, but well, I think in. That was in a that was a missed opportunity for Horchow on Han's attack. For what? The Horchow prototype ability. Uh, it's an action, unfortunately. And oh, the add to uh, do the barrel. Yep. Right. Okay. Discard. <laughs> I mean, it would have been very nice. Uh, because everybody was shooting at Sam there. Mm -hmm. I think they're underrated, honestly. They're probably like the only named generic that's ever white <laughs> named to generic. Uh, <laughs> double double dotted? Uh, no, no. Uh, the, the only vulture beyond the lowest generic that's probably worth it because they're the second lowest generic. They're yep. the second lowest pilot. But, like, I mean, free actions, right? Yep. I mean, that's. If you got those reactions, you're probably better than most people. Most yeah. other <laughs> right? Like yeah. that's just how it is. Free actions or get a token that's not that does not cause you an action by doing something not related to an action. Right, exactly. Free mods. Mm -hmm. So we just never see them because everyone really gave up on bullseye abilities on vultures. It just doesn't Yeah. Doesn't really work. And I think uh, somebody in the, the chat saying, don't don't underestimate precise hunters. I like the precise hunters. The problem more for them is their awkward initiative. I think their initiative, are they three? Yeah, they're three. Yeah. I mean, they, they're they just the initiative. I think they finally got priced to be they're just the generic initiative three mm -hmm. with two more points, which would be the cost of Predator anyways. Mm -hmm. So... But you're limited to, um, to I think three. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. yes, you're limited to three. And then uh, somebody's asking about false transponder codes. Yes, that has been burned already. Han uh, used his action to target Loxam in order to get rid of the false transponder codes. That's that's been Wall coming up here and saying, you know what? I'm in control now. Now the the archetype by Ben Wall here that he's flying Wedge, Hera, and Han is something that we've seen before, just without Hera and yet having Jake swapped out. I mean, I think Hera makes uh, an, an even better wingman in uh, in this list. You get you get higher initiative, more flexibility, and you have triple sixes. Seems good. Mm, I'm gonna. Hard argue Ahsoka, uh, but Ahsoka's. I mean, like, I, was, I was talking about at this point better than Wedge. I mean, better than Jake. Excuse me. But I mean, yeah, yeah, not wrong. I mean, mm -hmm. way more flexible for sure. 
I mean, but Hera, Hera's not out there blocking, though. Jacob block. And give himself tokens while giving other people tokens. So I wouldn't say immediate upgrade, but... You have to um, work a lot harder for Jake, though, right? I mean, you you got you got a boost or bear roll at range one of a friendly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really takes some some uh, what do I say? Um, some maneuvering uh, knowledge to get that just right. Uh, whereas, uh, maybe and maybe that does quantum uh, ear equate to Hera having more value because it's easier to use her ability and get that value out of her. Exactly. The, the ease of use. Ease of so, use. It's like exactly. I want yeah. the token, but I don't. I don't want a barrel roll. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I don't want to. I don't want to go. I don't want to boost towards you at range yeah. one. All right. This is a real smart move here. Uh, gets the blocking screen ready to go, and Zam opens up that rear arc. Going to be able to trade some shots with Han who we probably end up seeing rotating, or if he wants to just take shots on the the droids. Nope, going to take the rotate. No, uh, I'm going to mess it up again. I can't say the... the ben or, the, Wa. Wa. Yeah. Ben wa, 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 wa. <laughs> uh, I never know. Uh, ben Wa, uh, recognizing that his win condition is take Zam down as early as possible. Mm-hmm. Any any of these I sixes can deal with uh, like a hunt uh, a hyena or two. Yep, exactly. It's it's the, it's the hunt for Zam. As long as Zam is alive, uh, Daniel is one hundred percent in this race. The 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 droids here are just there to screen and take as much health away from the other ships. Basically, so they they're there to set up the end game for mm. Daniel. And, oh, does he have it? Yes. The very edge, very edge of Zam's base is in Wedge's arc. It's going to be a range two shot. Yeah, the, yep. prob the problem is that he forgot to close, or he forgot to open his wings. Ooh. Well, with uh, two blanks there, punished by the dice gods for forgetting his offensive mods. <laughs> All right, we'll get a free lock here on Zam as she reveals. You should, you should thank, thank me. me. Here's Han, two hits. No suppressive gunner this turn because there's no focuses. One squiggle, and that is the first damage card on Zam. Uh, not halved yet, though. Um, because of the hull upgrade. That's right, hull upgrade. You shall not destroy us. We're stronger than you. <laughs> uh, we did see a uh, the vulture's ability uh, triggered there. Oh no, that was four or four. <laughs> Wait, four or four got the lock. Now I'm confused. Spending the target lock. And triple crit. Pop, pop, pop. Ooh, wow. And all three of those are going to be going through unless he's got a rock. He does. He does and gets the squiggle. So two. First two shields down on Han Solo. Uh, his ability, absolutely fantastic. As long as he's at range zero to one of an obstacle, he can reroll all of your dice. It doesn't count as a reroll. That basically doesn't count as a target lock. You just scoop them all and try again. A do-over. Or a cheater. Whichever one you want. Whatever Han Solo story makes you feel good. Range one. Oh, that's four. Four is locked. That makes more sense. He yep. confused me because I think he says his calculate on his ship from last round. And there we go. Network calculations for three hits and a crit. Big smack into Wedge. Uh, he's dead. He's gone. Wow. Uh, we have a crit on 404. As and with a double ability. damage to call it. And what was what was a crit on 404? Uh, I don't know. We're waiting for uh, the crit. What's this? 
Well, we'll give it a second here. There it is. Damage engine. Okay. The hyena does have blue hard twos, so now only has white hard twos. I uh, didn't realize in that that calculator was from last round. Mm -hmm. He knew it, he didn't take a calculated action because he had instinctively used the Separatist Bombers to calculate. Exactly. Who, who is now shooting at Hera. For nothing. That's a Dugu crit. Oh, oh. Dugu crit. Okay. All right, little by little. Finds the damage. Dooku! I found a cookie. Hera Sindula taking a shield there. Uh, yeah, but someone clip that I found a cookie, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, the rebels here just unable to roll, uh, man, anything on offense or defense wedge blanks out and Hera blanks out on defense well they kind of trade they kind of traded right like the first round ben wall definitely had the upper hand in the dice and uh, it's swinging mm -hmm. back daniel's way uh yeah i think uh zam's in a pretty good position here the hard one through the asteroid field maybe try to circle it around get behind the droids yeah he's also in a really good spot to drop those thermals it depends on... I mean, you gotta get your droids out of there. I mean, the Vulture could 1k, Separatist Bomber... Yeah, Separatist Bomber 1 hards. It does. And Barrel Lock. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, there's some tight positioning, though. Between <laughs> that one... The 1k. Uh, 4-4... Four, four. What is there? The bombers have a 2k. He might yeah, actually he... miss that rock trying to K-turn onto it. I think you just went straight and then fix your crit. Mm, that's true. I like Man, it. Man, I haven't played I haven't played hyenas in a while. They are one of uh the best chassis in the game. Hawks being the first, of course. <laughs> uh <laughs> oh, <laughs> there. <laughs> well, what? I said I almost just like spit up. <laughs> <laughs> What and how, how how outrageous that statement was, or how good hawks are? Uh, let's go with the first option. <laughs> oh, okay, fair, fair enough. Anyways, I really like uh, the hyenas. They got uh, a lot of um, options for tech uh, between the different upgrade slots, the different mm -hmm. pilots, uh, the network calculations. <laughs> a very very good ship. All right, and we have 51 minutes in change at this point. Ben Wall, no points. Daniel Leon has scored 66 by getting Wedge off the board. Thank you to Courtney Adote for the sub. And we are in planning right now. So Han right now headed towards the bottom of the board. Um, you know, if I'm Daniel, do you think you'd be able to catch Hera while Han is uh, is kind of coming coming around the mountain here, or does Han get aggressive and uh, just say whatever? I'm going to go through the debris clouds. It's only debris, not that bad. <laughs> I mean, he's he's got room for a hard three, and then she could follow up with a hard three barrel roll boost and get all get up all out of there. Uh, you see that the droids here have no interest in pursuing. They're trying to get their energy shell charges back here with the reload action provided to them by the energy shell charges. Yep. It is was a big debate at first about whether the reload action was a real reload action. Um, but reload is its own word. Exactly. That gives you charges back. And gives you a weapons disabled token. Now, that's what's quick... even super important about that action on the energy shell car charge. Does mm -hmm. action reload this card, which is not actually a reload action? Uh, so it's not that's red. True. Like it's not like the separatist bomber has a red reload action, but it's white. Yeah, you could exactly. in theory be like coordinated a reload action, and like reload a, another missile or bomb or something as well. 
Now, well, real quick, you, you saw DBS-404 jump on the asteroid there, activating the landing struts and making it so that it ignores obstacles at range zero. And there was the thermal detonator going off. I don't think it was. The Hera was not in range, so no damage there. And here we go. We got Han Solo, range three going into Zam. We're going to have some trot shots traded here. One crit. Reroll, because Han Solo, looking better, going to have some options for suppressive gunner. Uh, Hera took a focus. It didn't land on the mat, though. Got it. All I right. was wondering why she <laughs> was stressed. Because yeah, I was like... <laughs> Like, mm, yeah. they, there should be a token somewhere out there. All right, so full <laughs> string then. Two hits and a crit. Mm -hmm. Zam gets to respond. It is range three, so three defensive dice. Uh-oh. One blank, two blanks. That one fell out the box, so we'll get a reroll. I think it was a Dooku. Ah, Dooku evade, yes. Mm -hmm, no. Yay, yay, nay. Awkward pause. There, the players are discussing. I think they're uh, they're being reminded of the uh, must be rolled in the box rule. One, uh, two, three. It, it got re-rolled into a blank. And there's a crit coming. And what do we get? We got a fuel leak out on Zam. Fuel leak. After you suffer critical damage, suffer another damage, and then repair it. We are going to trigger. You better mean business. Spending two charge, taking some shots. Bonus attack going back at Han Solo. No suppressive on this one. We're going to have full mods. Yeah, it looks like we're calling out the Dooku crit. And yeah, you're going to have it hit crit after using Dooku's ability. Remember, Dooku basically calls a result. And as long as it is not in, in, the, uh, in the role, you get to alter it there. Han, nothing on the first one. Natty's on the Han Solo wow. ability reroll, I mean, only taking one shield. Now we'll get the actual one. Yeah, no mods anymore. Doesn't look like. Didn't need it. Wow. Hit crit crit. And. Han Solo, double natties again. Wow. Han Solo uh, only losing a shield there. Ooh. Wow. Uh, okay. A Han, Han Spaghetti Factory. <laughs> uh, located range one of an obstacle. <laughs> well, that uh, that seems good. I don't, I don't know. That's just, <laughs> yeah, uh, modifying dice all the time uh, as Han is, turns out, pretty good. Raptor, <laughs> James, I love you too, buddy. <laughs> all right. Man, that, the... That feels bad. There that, is some that, feels yeah, bad. That feels super bad. <laughs> yeah. That should have been, what, two or three crits into Han that round? Mm-hmm. I mean, if, if Han doesn't have his ability, you have Han, you have, you have Han pass half points uh, with three, min three crits minimum in, into his hole. You know, you, you don't know what else you can pull from the deck. But, man, not in a good place right now. <laughs> No, I mean, Zam's not out of it yet. Uh, you still have uh, mostly full health uh, droids out there. The only damage 4-4 uh, did to himself while killing Wedge. And, like, Zam could reasonably take Hera, like, on a one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. So, like, the game is Han. So, do we, we take Zam, three bank, boost... Bring in the droids, scoop them around to the left side of the board, mm -hmm. and uh, and see what you can get. DBS four hundred four. That be the weapon, baby. Be the weapon. <laughs> but he's found a rock home, so that's nice. You just hang out <laughs> on that for a couple turns. Uh, Zam does have uh, another thermal. 
can utilize uh you do with that two drop uh just to spook off hera for a little bit and han if he goes too slow his han doesn't have a trick shot though so probably would be going pretty quick oh, i got feelings about suppressive gunner and engine upgrade but do you have what feelings mixed feelings all right what did I, I i really like it i mean it's it's sort of like having mm. a force yeah, but like you could just have Kane and Jerris and have both of those. A way to modify your eyeball results and a way to clear well not a way to not be slowed down by boosting. But it feels better if I just if I if I get to hurt you. <laughs> like, oh, feels bad. You you roll less dice. I, I see what you mean, uh, Will though. Like the, doing the Kanan, especially being able to help wedge with like three banks would be after like a 4k or something yeah that's uh suppressive gunner engine upgrades 13 points uh and Kanan jerris is 12 but you can use Kanan if for modifying offense and as a pseudo engine upgrade in the same turn so but how many times has han boosted this round Mm, we haven't seen he it. There was it. there was one opportunity earlier, and he, he mm -hmm. didn't take it. Uh, to answer a couple questions that were in the chat, um, somebody had asked if Han has stressed his turn. No, because of engine upgrade. Uh, sorry, not because of engine upgrade, but there's there's no uh, there's no stress out there. And somebody asking, is day two tomorrow? Yes, one hundred percent. These events function the same way that in-person events do. Obviously, we don't have access mm -hmm. to full, large-scale, 200-person events, but we can do them here safely online, and that's what we're doing. We'll be live tomorrow, again, starting at uh, player meeting, if you're a player, 9 a.m. Atlanta time, and then... Uh, we'll be starting rolling dice at 10 a.m. Atlanta time. Now, remember, the Galactic Championship Series taking part in time zones all around the world. You just got to just let's let it. Where do, when do you want to play? Do you want to play while your family is sleeping? You can do that. Do you want to do it while, you know, it starts in the afternoon for you? Just play a couple games. You got options. We got them in all the hemispheres. Even, uh, um, listen, Australia, no shade. No, no, no harm, no shade. But last year, the Australian qualifier was the lowest attendance. And a majority of the people weren't even from Australia. And I gave you guys another chance. I was like, all right, best spin for Australia. Where's Australia at? Australia's not showing up. Where are you guys at? You sleeping? You fighting off the, 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 the emus? What's happening? What's going on? You guys busy playing Marvel Crisis Protocol? Sadness. Remember me. <laughs> Come back to us, Australia. Alrighty. Brisbane, come back. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. It looks like the and I was uh, a, a slight correction. Um, I was complaining about him never boosting. He literally had boosted that round. So, got, got it. Why is Australia <laughs> not Tatooine? Oh my goodness! Can I tell you that when Whoa. I first published wow. the, uh, the 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 things, how many people were like, "Why did why was this city not this one?" And why was it like, like they literally were cities that we haven't visited in the time zones we needed. Han Solo's in range of the thermal detonator, and. Yeah, nice. that, that was about it. And I was like, yeah, this seems cool. Now, does Han actually roll this dice? Okay, he rolled a blank miss, but he could re-roll yeah. that, right? With his oh, Han yeah, ability? any dice. Yeah. Got di mm -hmm. Involves yeah. dice? Yes, re-roll yeah. if you want to. Nice. Uh, could he re-roll a Dooku die? Uh, Assuming so, yeah, right? Cause, yes. Cause Dooku happens immediately after rolling dice is that the that might actually be the same window well no han still does it in his modification stuff though it just happens to not be a modification there was a big that was the big ruling is that uh because han used to do it after you rolled which interfered with c3po crew that you could be like one and then re-roll it with han into an evade and it would still come for C-3PO. Mm -hmm. They got rid of that shenanigans real quick. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> so, and put his ability into the dice modification step as it so, so then yes he could like Zam could say blank and then he could re-roll it well you can say like crit on a bomb or something or crit on a rock in Han yeah that's probably more mm-hmm. applicable wow uh, Han Solo Han, he, 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 turns out he's pretty good so good I keep coming back to him of uh I said it, I think it was this week or last week's uh, podcast where I was talking like triple is the new double. And I was that was in reference to Han Solo just triple modifying dice all the time if he has a target lock and force. Uh, me and Daniel were actually talking about it. And Zam could do it with uh, target lock focus and Dooku could also triple modify their dice. But just not as consistent as Han who can do it pretty much every round. And now with Hera as well, being able to provide that kind of focus battery. Hera Sandula, the, the queen, the queen of rebels, telling you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, and that suppressive gunner is uh, very viable as a defensive tool against uh, Wedge, or for Wedge, uh, mm-hmm. rather, to keep him alive. So I think it's interesting... Hera, Hera's just not doing a lot in this, though, offensively. You know what I mean? She's kind of just a, a single-action coordinator, right? Like, she only coordinates the one action. That's what I mean by that. Yeah, it's just the, the flexibility with her. By the way, by the way, if, if, you hadn't, if you hadn't noticed, as part of our Galactic Championship prizes, if you make it, if you make it into the, the Galactic Championship, the final round, you get one of those invites, you will be receiving a plastic Hera Syndulla A-Wing card. And if you haven't seen it, it is absolutely wonderful. Our artist did a great job on it. Love it. Looks so good. You can, by the way, see all the prizes at goldsquadronpodcast.com slash galaxies prizes or just click the uh, the link on the landing page to get to the prize section. Two hits coming in. Yep, and there's that suppressive gunner. Ooh, he's actually considering it here. Considering he taking the, the damage? At Hera. Yeah, I want... Mm. I mean the 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 Haror is clean, isn't it? It hasn't taken any damage. It is a calculated risk for sure. Yeah, but you also have to defend against the rest of Han Solo's attack. Oh, I get it, Dion. Mm-hmm. Calculated risk. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, looks like you just took the deplete and didn't want to risk extra damage. It is game of preservation right now. While you, uh, what? assets you can maintain while getting rid of the others. Uh, since we're talking about order of things, you uploaded your match playing three initiative six aces and stuff. Hera uh, Dion was first player and he moved last but shot first. What? That shouldn't have happened. Was it the whole game that was happening? Do you, own, do you know how X-Wing works? Have you ever watched a game of X-Wing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't doubt that that probably happened on a turn, but... Um, what, what, what are they a, saying? Every turn? that we Not, not, not in this game, but in, in a game. different game. Today? No, no, in a League Night uh, match. Oh. Yeah. Or League Night. That's, <laughs> what are we, it's just Fight Club Wednesdays, isn't it? Man, or, that's Casual Wednesday. Casual work. Yeah. It happens. There's no rules that day. There's no ha- D to have it. Say. Have it coming in. You know call, call, calling me out. Calling me out. This is fine. Let's, Ooh, let's. You better timestamp to have it. Let's see. That <laughs> match. It, are you saying, was it every round or was it once? If it was once, I'm going to chalk it up to a mistake. If it was every round, I'm going to say I'm dumb. <laughs> let's see. So, so here's a question. Yeah. A lot of people um, compare Boba's ability to like a 1.0 feels bad ability do you guys think that han has a similar type of too good ability for 2.0 i 
I mean, my gut instinct is yes. <laughs> uh, because just because of they're so similar, uh, he probably could have been charge based as well, or a once per round ability. But I've also rerolled like hit eyeball blank into three blanks before with Han. So I literally just made the dice pool worse. I, I feel like his is a lot more fair than Boba's. It's easier to pull off, but it's not always the best. Like, because it's modding all your dice, not the ones that you want. Yeah. I mean, Han Solo is good. If, ability, I, I I could see that though. He's he's got. Uh, I mean, like it's one, essentially what his first edition dice. ability was, right? What was his first? It ability? didn't work on. It just literally that he like didn't change yeah. abilities. Yeah, it was oh, it was, it was it, oh, exact exact exactly the same. Okay, well that seems like a one point ability. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm, that's yeah. why I was like, well you're not wrong. Like it definitely <laughs> is. All right, uh, Havoc. I I figured out your problem. Uh, the problem was that I forgot to switch the initiative token. The initiative token on, is on my name. It should have been on Colin's name. That's all the problem is there. See, see, the, your, the, your problem was but you, you assumed that Dion was wrong, and you just need to assume that Dion is right. <laughs> well, I was wrong <laughs> in the fact that I forgot to set the initiative button in the wrong place. You know, this is this is something I, uh, it's on my list to ask Dennis to, to do, is that whenever we enter new lists into TTT that it takes off the initiative token because just like in the hype of getting ready it, it it's always just like set from the turn before so if you forget to just to switch it it yeah. gets stuck no, on the it, wrong it, one it definitely can be very easily missed yeah that's all havoc i a, as you are a founder a founding subscriber on our channel i want to personally apologize for not clicking the button my bad fam I love you. <laughs> Call me out. Uh, Call me out. I'm not laughing at that. He, uh, yeah, where's my current time? Yeah. There you go. Here's the timestamp. You definitely did it. I watched that whole match in 15 seconds. Uh, and you made a bunch of mistakes, Dion. <laughs> Hey, you know what? April April was a tough month, okay? April was a tough yeah, month. <laughs> not not going to blame you for uh, that stuff. Uh, Han got re-rolled into two hits, two eyeballs. He's going to spend one for a suppressive gunner. Uh, that droid is going to shake it off. Sam's doing a great job of just conserving points on the run out there. All right, here we go. DBS. DBS 404 looking to take a big shot at Han here. Range one ignores the obstacle because of the landing struts, which is he's made his home. He says, mm -hmm. oh, you break my engine. We'll just walk around then. I don't need no engine. <laughs> you come into my house. You threaten me. <laughs> The dice were about to were supposed to be rolled about then. The timer's going to be kind of awkward now, and we wait. And there it is, four dice, two hits. Has a calculate out there. I'm gonna spend it. Just three. Gets one squiggle. That's going to be two damage. Going into DBS 404, and got a blinded pilot. Good thing he spent the calculate on defense. All right, here's some more energy shell charges. Energy shells going at Han. Trying to. Oh, good mm. roll. Hit, hit, crit. All right. We're going deep into that hole now. Uh, that crit was Panicked Pilot. Panicked Pilot for the Rebellion. Ooh, I almost, I pulled up this, this stream just to see that uh, thing. There it is. Very cool. That was a depleted attack. Long range at an A-wing.
Okay, well the droid's making headway here. Just able to put some damage through on to Han. Nipping away, nipping away, and was able to get half points. That's that's huge. 49 to 112. We're in a good place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, the droids have improved themselves. Uh, that little vulture, in fact, is the one out there just rolling a bunch of evades. Yeah, the whore challenge will double evade every attack. <laughs> <laughs> it's been crazy. Hey, get the job done. Also, I mean, like, Han Solo's rolled evades, like, every attack. So... Well... I mean, I mean it's, it's kind of expected, right? You're like, come on, I, yeah. I get to try more than once. Where's my evades yeah. at? Yeah, I really see Han as closer to a two agility ship than a one agility ship. You can't get like two evade results, sure, but you're pretty much always rolling two dice defensively. Mm -hmm. Well, want to remind you guys, as we continue here, this round and all of our rounds this weekend are brought to you by Curl Paw Creatives and District Foundry. Use that coupon code GSP2021 for 15% off this weekend. And yes, you can find their links by typing exclamation point CPC or exclamation point DF in the chat. Uh, by the way, Andrew from Curled Paul wanted me to mention that if you are playing Legion, there was a big update in his uh, his Legion stock. He's updated a bunch of new tokens and, and different styles for Legion. So if you're a Legion player and you like your plastic, uh, you know where to go. <laughs> uh yeah we got two crits on 404 self-inflicted um mm -hmm. bit of a masochist there um <laughs> you only need <laughs> three more range one attacks to kill himself uh maybe less if he's pulling out direct hits in a fuel leak that's right well i mean is if he's taking han down with him it's okay I mean, yeah, he is blinded like right now. 36 point ship for a 92 point ship. Yeah, that's fair. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, what do we have left on Han here? Five left. All right, and we're going to yeah, go Harris ahead and do. Fun. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I was saying, Harris have a, a hard time wanting to keep uh, up with Han to support him. Mm -hmm. uh, as he's going into the danger lands over there, the <laughs> asteroid uh, field where the vultures are hanging out. She doesn't really, doesn't seem like she's trying to dive too deep into that. Uh, more likely, I can see her just uh, cutting back and uh, going to face off on Zam in kind of a pincer move. Where are we at here? I'll go ahead, and we are rotating with DBS. He's hoping to catch some Han Solo. I mean, Han's either bumping into him or continuing around the mountain. Now remember, Han does have engine upgrades, so has some options there. Yeah, I mean, probably a three forward boost to get on the right side of these vultures. He's double stressed. Oh, because he got panicked. Pilot. I was like, how did he get stressed? Uh, <laughs> uh, that is right. One of those Chris was a panicked pilot. Uh, looks like DBS 404 is going to jump off the rock here. Is blinded, so it doesn't look probably unlikely to link it into a lock. Zam, three banking right now. I think at this point, Daniel's just trying to hold on to those points. <laughs> Move yeah, fast like... and see if you can catch Hera while she's running around. And oh, there. Welcome onto the rock. Oh, wow. that's big. Wow. Now, he still has his ability, but he's not going to be able to fire back at the droids. This could be a point to try to get ahead. If you can push through a little bit of damage onto, uh, onto Han, could be massive. Yep, the Separatist Bomber, who I believe switched his lock over, will have a range one there. 
And Harris trying to get back into the fight. Roll in the box. <laughs> Miss there, man, man. This uh, vulture is just getting so lucky. What's this third is for? This is for the Han Rock because they didn't roll it in the box. Daniel oh. had a similar situation earlier where he had a die fall out the box and had to re roll it. And then they were discussing it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and it is a crit off of the rock. And it is a disabled power regulator on the Han. Before you engage, take an ion oh, token. Oh, I was like, why did he roll the hit then the crit? Uh, it's because he used Han, Han and it got worse. Yes, it got. That's rare. It's rare. Twelve percent. Uh, that's why his ability is fair in second edition. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, hit, hit, crit. Remember, DBS 404 can can attack at range zero. Sure can. And Han's going to try to reroll here. Hit, crit. Blinded pilot going on to Han. His ability is now off. Wow. Oh uh, yeah, uh, more attacks coming in here. That was a range one, a range zero attack that hit. So probably another crit coming on four or four. That's how that shift works. But we're moving on to the I three pilot in this cool. exciting times. Hit hit crit. That's going to be another hit crit onto Han. All the face up cards, and that's a whole breach. Does that finish Seven, him off? Eight. That's eight. Yeah. Gone. That, that's it. It's over. It's all over now. DBS 404 does need to take a crit, right? Yeah, 404 crit. I'm typing it right now. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. They were, they were just so excited about killing Han Solo. <laughs> I mean, I think 50% of the players were excited about <laughs> killing Han Solo. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, Fisher Board is correct here. That does give up half points on 404 for... Going home. I got distracted by saying four too many times. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so disable power regular, not so bad because that was after he had already engaged. What are the lob what are the bets on this one? The bets on this one, uh, it was a sixty-eight percent advantage towards the rebellion. That means right I now, mean, I mean, unless unless we get a miracle. That's going to be a huge payout for the 31% who bet on Daniel. Uh, that's 314,000 going to be yeah. uh, split up against those 24 people who bet on Daniel. Give me my points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Han is a monster a lot of the time uh, with the amount of modification he can do. We've talked up Hera since before she even released a she was a game-changing ship for the Rebellion. And few ships are out there hitting as hard as a double-modified torpedo coming from Wedge Antilles. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, And all of them move after an I-5 Zam. Like, it, it had all the recipe for oh, a, an excellent game. Um, but it just has fallen apart here. Um, you know oh, who yeah, the true think, hero though yeah. is though? Four four. Just oh my goodness. Work. Killed Han. It, or not killed Han, but significantly damaged I, Han. Killed uh -huh. Wedge. Four of four is the reason why Han was in the position to give up the points that he did. Yeah. Because he, he hit him th mm -hmm. four times? Three times. Uh, three times. Well three, three times. Three times well, total. One of them was a wedge. But, yeah. Man. Big well, money. See, here's the thing. As as cool and as popular and as outstanding as those rebel pilots may appear on paper, you guys have clearly you guys clearly don't understand the power of Daniel Leon and the Separatist faction. He's a uh 
Team USA separatist specialist. All right. Turns out he knows what he's doing with 404. Yeah, I think, I mean, early in the very game, in, in, in the beginning of the game, um, Daniel was saying, oh, that game's, this game's over, this game's over. Like, I, I just lost half on Zam for nothing almost. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. just, just kind of like. Next, next round, yeah. Wedge was gone. Boom. Mm -hmm. but, he, but, he, but, but, yeah, so he, he played it safe. And he kept Zam away from Han, mm -hmm. and said, "You know, try try to try to take some points out of these these uh, vultures and hyenas." And he just couldn't push through the damage that he needed. Yeah, I mean that's he played he played it right. I'm glad I'm glad that you know you heard him saying that uh, that he thought he was out of it, but he still played it smart. He gave himself the chance. He may have legitimately thought that the game was going to be over for him, but. Uh, but mm -hmm. speaking of being over, uh, DBS 404 erased off the board. But you know what? Did More good. like four over four. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. Did you, is Chubraka saying that his wife is pregnant? You're going to be a daddy? Congratulations, Sam. Tiny, uh, tiny little Chubraka. That's right. In. Uh, e, e Braca? <laughs> no wait. B, B, B Braca? Oh wait. Oh, no, it's two and walk. Two walk? It's kind of like an E walk. <laughs> Congratulations, man. I'm just angry because I wanted four or four to kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> James is like, I want a refund. This is not yeah. what I came here for. <laughs> <laughs> oh man wow well i mean uh uh is not out of this yet i mean you get a good or you probably need two you get mm -hmm. two good shots on zam and yep. you're just fighting two droids then at that point Oh man, but you're, you're you are you are leaning, you are leaning in the variance there. You're just like you know what, D spend all my focus on attacks and, and just roll natties, baby. Just yeah, I mean you gotta bust through. So uh, Zam can't blink out because of Dooku, mm -hmm. right? So that'll, it's gonna at least cause you to do two hits, two probably range one attacks. All right, Uh man. Uh, it's been a bit since I've seen uh, droids just hanging out on rocks, just playing a casual, finding a home. I'm sad that uh, Daniel's um, painted models don't have the animated struts. Mm -hmm. He does have a beautifully painted Zam, though. He does. As a goal, that's great. Um, that's awesome that uh, somebody had a had a great game. But I, I can't I can't give everybody a prize because they were a good sport like that. I'd never I I would all my prize is gone in one day. You've got so many good people. I can't. Ooh, I can't we, do it. we've been talking about the rack and <laughs> I have heard it been referred to as the Thai Chongus, but uh, <laughs> we were. <laughs> We were actually eyeballing up, up that list and are excited to see his progression through the tournament. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna? Is that on the on the watch list, James? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What what do you, what do you say? Uh, the rack and chungus. The, what? <laughs> <laughs> Did I? Did I miss yes. Yeah. No. yeah yep. Yep. Yes, We're just gonna God. leave it. We're just gonna leave it. I, I, I talked to my wife for one minute. That That's <laughs> well. I know we're yelling crazy words yeah. at me. <laughs> the rack and two brutes. The two heavens. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, rack and chungus. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna. Between the game. Thanks, hon. Thanks. Yeah. We, <laughs> she, she she came home and she was like, "Hey, hey how's, how are you doing?" And I was like, "Oh yeah, doing really good." And then I, and he's like, "James." And I'm like, "What?" He said, "Rack and Chungus." <laughs> <laughs> I 
And I was like, oh, what? Man. <laughs> I'm never turning oh. away again. <laughs> oh, that rack and chug us, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, James, we we're, we're, uh, we were looking at that earlier. We wanted them on stream, but we ended up going with a different mm. uh, matchup. Well, we James is James is doing all that real behind yep. the scenes work. Yeah, I, th I think he ended up getting paired against another spacers list, and we just it. seen spacers. So I was like, oh no, darn. Yeah, James, well, I, I expect you to I expect you to find a post-it note, write rack and chungus, and just like put it on the refrigerator, <laughs> and and you just don't, don't ever say anything about it. You just like what is this like just oh you know you know <laughs> and, and then, yeah and then you gotta put like the like the like the ptsd face <laughs> yeah, <and chug> this. <laughs> yeah in, insert insert like vietnam flashback meme that's right yeah x-pop it would definitely uh rack would definitely be like the by the books and Chungus would definitely be the re the rebellious cop for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> I'll leave a little thanks for your subscription with Prime for 11 months. Exclamation point Prime. Find out how you can get free subscriptions through your Prime. Uh, Chungus is just... Chungai? Chungai, in <laughs> fact. Multiple Chunguses. Now, at this point, we are at 13 minutes. If this game ends, let's say, in the next round, we we would not switch to a, a backup game. We just hang out, do our giveaways, which is awesome. Prime doesn't work in Finland. Why does Finland hate Twitch streamers? I'm telling you. Uh, it's honestly probably Amazon, some, some tax law or something like that. They're like, nope, cut off. Sorry, Finland. You can't play. Not allowed in the sandbox. <laughs> too too hard to get that uh, two-day shipping out there. That's right. Well, too much beautiful countryside. I, I would tell you, uh, since since I, I'm I'm the the director and creator of Paint Wars, I can talk about it. But it, it took months, literally months, for Netter to get his Paint War ship in the mail from us. It took it took a world tour, and it went to Australia, Japan, and then eventually made it to Finland. Two and a half months. All right, it looks like Kara might have left a stove on or something because she's trying to get out of here, uh, boosting <laughs> boosting into uh, what seems to be all three arcs of the enemies. Mm, she might have got past the bombers, I guess. Gonna risk it all here to try to take Zam off the board. <laughs> oh, seconds, seconds. <laughs> well, there's already memes. <laughs> And we got hit crit. I don't understand what happened. I think he called the Dooku he called blank. The yeah. Yep. You don't call blank. Yeah. Oh, Rumble Rocket B three. Yes, I mean that was the eventual solution. But I had, I had. Not, there's. You 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 don't understand. You're not part of the paint wars. I can't explain everything. I had nice yes. things to give them in the box and stuff and things, and the, the the postal service robbed us of that opportunity. That's all. That's it. I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. All right, we got uh, hit crit crit uh, target lock into hit focus or excuse me target lock into focus. Spend the focus token. That's hit, hit, crit, crit, and a pretty Rip. abysmal roll for Hera. And she will die to that. And with right. that, Daniel Leon wins the game 85 to 200. Congratulations, Daniel Leon, for getting the win. Ben Wall, honestly, put on a good game. Put on a good game. It, it, it came down to a couple of turns of DBS 404 being able to catch him. 
put some big hits in it. Um, early on, though, we thought that it was going to go the other way. Daniel Leon felt like he was falling behind. Zam went down to two hull, two hull um, in the first few engagements and was absolutely uh, did made made the right choices and had had luck. Right, that is 100% part uh, of the game. Sometimes you got to have the luck on your side in order to get that W. Now, let's go ahead and I won't forget, let's pay out the points. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, and Fallen, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.